Assalamu alaikum friends welcome to new standards so today's standard is IS 34 interim financial reporting so we have so I after IS 33 which is your earnings per share now we are next to the next standard IS 34 interim financial reporting this is a very small standard okay so I think in 10 minutes we can finish this uh, whole standard so basically in this standard you don't have to remember much the good thing is that you just have to uh, know interim is like when you are recording it in not the full financial uh, period right so this period is shorter than that rest all, all every all the concepts and all the way how you prepare and all everything is similar to how you prepare a full full year financial reporting okay so uh, that's why we can quickly go through this okay so as you know interim financial reports they are prepared on a shorter period than a full financial year so they can prepare so entities they can prepare the interim financial reports under local law or listing regulations okay so they does not require the preparation of interim reports is 34 does not require the preparation of interim reports but sets out the principle that should be followed if they prepare and specify their minimum content so this is basically you have to know the content okay here they do not they don't say is 34 that uh, that there is a requirement for the preparation of interim reports because not every company prepares interim reports but if so if someone does want to prepare interim reports then this is 34 they guide it's like a guiding force okay how it should be prepared what is the minimum content okay so that content only you have to know that's it in is 34 not much is there let us see what conceptual framework says financial information is more useful to the primary user groups if it is published on a timely basis Interim financial reports report up-to-date information on the performance, position, and cash flows uh, of an entity for the period to date. This information helps users react more quickly to positive and negative changes during the financial. Exactly, because since interim is for shorter period, so if you when you make the financial statements, so it is better because uh, users can quickly react. Whether it's positive or negative, they can quickly react to that information. But if they have to wait for the whole one year, it takes a lot of time, and maybe by that time the since it is uh, something regarding the past what happened in the past the performance and the position and the cash flow it is not going to help much in the future okay so in term is like more up to date even the conceptual framework says that it is better if the information is more useful if it is more up to date okay so that's what it's nothing to remember so much it's just briefly they are saying what the conceptual framework says on is 34 now let us go to the components of interim reports okay you don't have to memorize it okay but just know it because is 34 is a statement which uh to be honest with you it i rarely see is 34 okay it does not come very frequently okay but that does not mean that you can relax and you don't have to focus on it just because it does not come regularly but not much to remember and uh, even if it comes also it's not very really something very hard nothing challenging is here you just have to know the components that's it unlike other standards huge standards where we have to know the recognition the measurement criteria the subsequent measurement the presentation the disclosure so this does not have all those things okay what is the components this are like the minimum so first it is the condensed statement of financial position at the end of the current interim period with a comparative statement of financial position as at the end of the previous financial year okay so you are calculating well, let's say the interim financial report period you make in six months so you have to have the six months uh, let's say your uh, year end is june uh, sorry jan uh, sorry uh, i'm sorry your year end is 31st december okay so from 31st december to and your interim you are making for in six months so let's say in june you are making so from jan to june for the six months you need one set of information uh, you can take from the previous year that is the december and with the june figure okay you need one comparative statement of financial position that is the december and one june that is the interim period and you need to compare both okay next same thing condensed statement of profit or loss and other components income for the current interim period and uh, cumulatively for the current financial year to the date to date means whatever the date you make because there is no set date that interim period is six months or four months or three. sometimes it could be uh, three months it could be four months it could be six months it differs from company to company that's why they told to the period uh, to the date from the current financial year to date 
So if for example the entity reports quarterly, compare it is point time periods current and year to date. Okay, of the preceding financial year. Same. So everything is like condensed, condensed, condensed. This is about saver financial position, this statement of profit and loss and other components income. This is about statement of changes in equity. This statement should show changes in uh, equity cumulatively for the current year with the comparatives for the corresponding period of the preceding financial year. Then, condensed statement of cash flows cumulatively for the year to date with the comparative statement the same date in the previous year. So, you see all these four statements, they are having the comparative uh, statement also. Okay. Then we have selected explanatory notes. Selected is there. Not like very wide like how we make for the full financial year. Then we have basic and diluted EPS should be presented on the face of internal statement of profit or loss and other compensation for those entities within the scope of IS 33. Okay, so please this you need to understand that this one uh, this basic and diluted EPS is presented only if a company is within the scope. Okay, so my previous video was on IS 33. Right, I have really explained that. That is also a very small uh, standard. So you can go through it. Okay. Next, accounting policies. So the same accounting policy should be applied in an entity's interim financial statements as an applied in annual financial statements. Okay, there is no difference in the accounting policy. Only the duration is short. That's it. This is not a full 12 months. That's it. Rest everything accounting policy is same. So same accounting policy. Come in annual financial statements. Okay, no difference in that. So with that. We are over with the IS 30, IS 34, yes, IS 34. So that's it. I have, I, I told you I'll finish this in 10 minutes. Now it's just seven minutes. In seven minutes, we have finished the standard. Now the next standard, which I'm going to talk about is a big standard, IS 36. IS 36 is about what? Impairment. It is an impairment of assets very very important and it comes it comes definitely you will get somewhere that impairment will come either relating to goodwill either relating to non-current asset but or either relating to intangible asset the impairment could be related to anything but impairment you will get there is no escape from it okay it could come in one or the other way so next standard is is 36 so see you in is 36 till then take care